One of the most horrible accidents recorded in the last eight years on Masaka Road happened at this very spot on the 2nd of July 2016. 18 people perished on this very spot while three others died in the hospital. But today, police have arrested 25-year-old Richard Kayemba said to have been behind this very mishap. Kayemba was picked up from Kampala where he said to have been hiding for two months following the accident. According to police, Kayemba was driving a Toyota Noah omnibus from Masaka, but his car was allegedly knocked off the road by a trailer heading to Masaka. Kayemba blamed the accident on the truck driver. Kaimba claims the other speeding vehicles crashed into the trailer which had blocked the road after hitting his car. But Katonga Regional Police spokesperson Philip Mukasa says Kaimba was to blame for the accident since he even fled from the scene after the crash. We are confident that he was the one driving that Noah that he recklessly drove and killed people on that fateful day. He caused the country to mourn, so it is our responsibility to take him to court. The driver now faces 40 counts, including 21 counts of murder for each of the people who died in the crash. We are also looking at him having been in that vehicle with the permit that was ex had expired. He also refused or, re or failed to report an accident, which is a crime. Mukasa told journalists, that Kayemba escaped from PG Health Center 4, where he was rushed for treatment alongside 15 others who were injured in the accident. I asked the regional police spokesperson how Kayemba, who was the key suspect, managed to escape. We did not know he was the one. It is later that we established that one of the people we evacuated from the scene of the accident to the hospital was Kayemba Richard. In a bid to reduce the rampant carnage on the Kampala Masakambara Road, President Museven ordered the police to deploy at various black spots on the road. In two months, at least 1,000 errant motorists have been arrested, charged in court and fined between 100,000 and 1.5 million shillings in a crackdown, dubbed Operation Fika Salama. We want people to know that that is how civilized people live, driving on our roads responsibly. Whether we are on the road or not, Kayemba is expected to be charged in court next week. <laughs> when NTV visited the scene of the multiple car crash at Kampirinjisa in Impiji district, the smell of death hung in the air with shattered car windows and a stick shift handle lying on the ground. Police urge motorists to exercise discipline on the road and avoid recklessness because statistics show that most of the accidents are due to human error. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.